Our Earth is no longer revolving around the Sun, no joke. How this could happen, what the other planets have to do with it, and what it means for us, you will find out in this video, so be sure to stay tuned until the end. Welcome, friends. Everyone knows that the Earth revolves around the Sun, except perhaps flat earthers, but the situation is actually a little different at the moment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for exciting astronomical reports like this. It's absolutely free. You'll never miss a new video again and you'll be helping me immensely. Thank you, friends. School books and popular science books show it again and again. The Earth and the other planets of the solar system orbit the Sun in almost perfect elliptical orbits. This representation is practical and easy to understand, but it greatly simplifies reality, so much so that you could say it is wrong. This is because these popular science books leave out the vast majority of objects in the solar system. Here you can see a diagram of the solar system with all known objects. Doesn't it look a bit fuller? Okay, okay, but then I can already hear some of you asking excitedly, Fair enough, but why is the Earth no longer rotating around the Sun? To really understand this, we have to get rid of the idea that the Sun is the only fixed point around which everything revolves. The reality is, as always, more complex, all objects in the solar system revolve around a different point than the Sun, even the Sun itself. <laughs> We're talking about the so-called Barry Center, and it's not the city center of the capital of Apulia. I apologize for that joke. A Barry Center is the point around which two or more celestial bodies distribute their masses and orbit together. This center is not always within one of the celestial bodies involved. You could also say that the very center of a system of celestial bodies is the point that behaves as if the entire mass of the system were concentrated in it. Take a look at the rotation of Pluto and its moon Charon here. The very center is completely outside Pluto, which is super unusual for planet moon movements, or in this case, dwarf planet moon movement. But Charon has a relatively large mass compared to Pluto, so the very center is relatively outside the main body of the reference system. Alan Stern, the lead researcher of the New Horizons mission to Pluto, says, The pluto charon system is unique in that it is the only place in the solar system where the satellite is so large relative to the main body. With the Earth and our moon, it is not quite as extreme as with Pluto and Charon. These two celestial bodies also orbit around a common center that is about 4,671 kilometers from the heart center just below the Earth's surface, so the moon revolves around a point very close to you, just a few kilometers below your heart. So what about the entire solar system? For that, we have to look at the gas planets, the fat cats of the solar system. That's fat shaming. The Sun makes up about 99.9% .9 of the total mass of the solar system, but the remaining 0.1% is distributed among planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. And me, after I've eaten a family pizza on my own, all of them have a significant influence on the Barry Center. In particular, the two massive gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, exert strong gravitational forces that pull the Barry Center out of the center of the Sun. When these planets are on one side of the Sun, their gravitational forces add up on that side, pushing the Barry Center outwards, and now we are slowly getting getting to the heart of the matter, or rather the gravitational center in this case. The very center of the solar system is not static, but moves over time, depending on the positions of the planets in their orbits. When the gas giants are on the opposite side of the sun, their gravitational forces partially cancel each other out, and the very center moves closer to the center of the sun. In the current phase, the Barry Center is located outside the surface of the Sun, about 700,000 kilometers away. This dynamic interaction causes the Earth and all other planets to orbit around this external Barry Center and not around the Sun itself. In other words, at this very moment, we and the Earth are not rotating around the Sun. We are rotating around a point hundreds of thousands of kilometers away from the Sun. Astronomer James O'Donohue wrote on Twitter, the natural idea is that we orbit the center of the Sun, but that happens very rarely, which means that it is very rare for the center of mass of the solar system to coincide with the center of the Sun. Of course, we always rotate around the Barry Center, but often it is located within the Sun. And then the statement that we orbit around the Sun would still be correct, but not at the moment. So if you see a pretty girl at the next party and want to make an impression, then say this. If we form a reference system together, I'll shift your Barry Center quite a bit outwards. But maybe you should just ignore my flirting tips. By the way, in the years 2029 to 2030, the Barry Center is expected to be back within the surface of the Sun only about 350,000 kilometers from the center. Now, some of you are already saying, How pedantic can you be? Who cares? Not so fast, folks. 
The search for Berry Centers helps us a lot in the discovery of distant exotic exoplanets. Astronomers measure the radial velocity of stars to observe the wobbling motion caused by the orbiting of a common Berry Center with one or more planets. This wobbling motion causes a change in the radial velocity of the star, which can then be measured using the Doppler effect. By analyzing these changes in velocity, astronomers can determine the mass and orbit of the accompanying planets. This method has already led to the discovery of many exoplanets that would otherwise be invisible. So you see, the fact that we are not currently orbiting the Sun is somewhat theoretical in nature, but the science behind it is super important for astronomers to analyze the properties of other stellar systems and thereby detect new extrasolar celestial bodies. Let no one say that astronomy is not exciting. For more information like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel now, let's stay with cosmic mysteries. Several stars that undoubtedly existed have simply disappeared, gone in a flash, and the researchers are completely at a loss as to who could make stars disappear from one second to the next. A strange supernova without an explosion. Aliens. For a real cosmic identity crisis, be sure to click on the video shown where I've explained everything to you. And if you want to support my work, why not visit the Astro Shop again? Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.